Uh, with that, I adopt resolution, I move to adopt resolution number 16-028 uh, as amended uh, with this item that's on here and regarding to the um, ballot uh, statement that then it should be placed on the ballot for November 8, 2016 general municipal election. Any second? I'll second that. More discussion? Let's vote. Just to have one question sure. about uh, changing the language here, and different people have brought up the term establish increase um, or not changing it at all. What, what, does it, what does it do to use the word establish versus increase? Well, I'll actually let the drafters of that language, and, and uh, they spent hours on this this afternoon trying to, trying to perfect this, this change, recognizing that they did see some legal vulnerability in, uh, in the arguments that the attorneys have made. So uh, I'll let Pearl. Yeah, we're, we're trying to strike a, a delicate balance and comply with state law about what a ballot question needs to do, and it needs to do two things. One, it needs to state the nature of the measure, say what it does, and second, it needs to be a condensed version of what's in your title and summary and, and accurately reflect what the initiative does. So we spent a lot of time on the language after we got the letter from the attorney who frankly pointed out something correct that came out of the 90 to 12 analysis, um, which is on the height limit. And, and I'll just spend one second on that. There's, there, there's no doubt that the initiative increases the maximum height limit in your general plan. Right now it's 30 feet. If the initiative passes, it'll be 45 feet. There, there's no doubt about that. What the, the question people have been talking about is, well, what's the impact about that because of your zoning, and then there's, there's disputes about that, but there's no doubt that it increases the maximum height in your uh, general plan. So it's simply not, uh, we're concerned that the ballot question which said it limits it is not sufficiently accurate about what the nature is. Um, we're comfortable with the language we put in here. Um, you know, as I said earlier, only semi facetiously you know, someone can bring a lawsuit any time they want. You've, you know, you've heard from some people think that you need to say the word increase. We think the word establish. Um, accurately reflects what the initiative does, but um, you know, query: How would a court look at it? Does it does it inform a voter that it's um, that it's increasing? You know, that's a fair question to ask. So, I, you know, I think you could go, frankly, either way. But we're comfortable with the question. As we You're go. saying we're still open to lawsuit on the title if we have established versus increase. Uh, um, I, I, you know, we there's no certainty, so we're comfortable with the record, the, the the red line. We're comfortable with that language. Okay, thank you. So um, with regard to the zoning ordinance, and let me just read a sentence out of your report. The city council would likely have the discretion either to increase or not to increase the applicable zoning ordinance height limitations to 45 feet with two possible exceptions. And those exceptions I described earlier, do you, do you still st stand by that uh, analysis? Because uh, there seems to be a misperception out there that this would essentially be a, a policy judgment by our council. This is tied essentially to the zoning ordinance, right, with respect to these maximum heights in neighborhoods where the zoning is already preset at below 45 feet. I, I just want to be clear about one thing. I think that for the ballot question is not about the zoning ordinance and your discretion. It's what, what the initiative does, and the initiative does increase the maximum height limit to 45 feet. But with regard to the statement that, that's made in... The the report, yeah, I absolutely stand by that, and we said that in the report. So you stand by the yeah, fact yeah. that we would have the discretion to either increase it or not increase it. Right, this city council the and the next city council. And the next, okay, right. uh, with, with the fair point that it is potentially arguable, right? Um, and then what, what really concerns me, and I think you're correct, in this PRES, right, zoning designation, as well as multifamily, it seems like we would have no discretion um, but to go with this 45-foot limit that is being... Uh, set in the uh, in, in the um, initiative if it passes. With the P res, I think it's it's clear that's our view, our view because it, right now it defers to the general plan. The general plan is going to be changed to 45 feet, and the initiative gives you the directive to be consistent with that, and not to change things with that. The other policy we discussed about, I think it's a closer call, and for the reasons we um, we set forth in the general plan. So, with regard to this language we would have the discretion either to increase or not to increase the applicable zoning ordinance height limitations. Is that considered an interpretation of ordinance or is that considered a policy set by a particular council that could change depending on the composition and makeup of the council in a future year? 
Yeah, yeah, yes, I, could, I mean, that's that inherent in the nature of discretion. You could, do, you could exercise your discretion in one way, another council could exercise their discretion in a different way. The question is, would your zoning ordinance be consistent with the general plan which says heights shall not exceed 45 feet? So there's a lot of things that are consistent with shall not exceed 45 feet, and those are the options that this council would have and future councils would have. They, whatever council is making the decision could point to the language of the initiative and say, well, here's what we think it meant, and here's what we're okay. going to decide. So, so you're saying the discretion that we have is to adjust the zoning ordinance to either meet or not meet this 45-foot limitation right. in those cases where the zoning ordinance defines a height lower than 45 feet. Correct. So we have that discretion in terms of the ordinance, in, in terms of setting the terms of the ordinance, correct? Right. You can't change within the general plan that's adopted by the initiative, but you can change what's in your zoning ordinance. Okay, because I see that as setting basically statutory authority. That's not a policy, right? That's actually defining the zoning ordinance to be within... It's a term of art. I mean, the courts talk about what your zoning is legislation, and legislation is policy decisions. So mm -hmm. you could, whether you adjust that up or down, that's a policy decision So the question, enacted through your zoning ordinance. So the question being, in two years, could a different council enact a different... Yes. It could. Okay. All right. Um, could, Go ahead. Could I ask a couple? Sure. So can you elaborate a bit on why the term established as opposed to increase? Look, clearly it, the, the initiative increases the maximum height limit set forth in, in the general plan. I mean, you're okay. saying limit in the one case, and then the next clause you're, you're right. choosing establish. Yeah. Uh, it does increase it, the, the, and, um, you know, we've had the pro a threat of a legal challenge here, so I need to be careful about what I say, frankly. Um, but, you know, I, um, increase, I mean, it, uh, you know, it's our view, it's in the 9212 report, it does increase the maximum height limit in your general plan. Okay. It also, it does that in a way, you know, it doesn't say we are hereby increasing. It says um, the maximum shall not exceed 45 feet. I think established is an accurate way of saying that, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I, I think it's fair to say established doesn't indicate that that number is being increased. 